as a developer, what are some effective ways of gathering actionable feedback during the sprint review? Now, what you're probably thinking is, what about the Scrum Master? Well, not every team has a Scrum Master or one that's up to the job. So sometimes it falls to the developer or the product owner to start capturing this stuff. And actually, as a Scrum Master, I'm lazy. I want it to be somebody else's job anyway. But if you don't have that person who is used to facilitating, how do you make sure that you capture actionable feedback? Well, as part of the sprint review, what we're going to be doing is inviting stakeholders, inviting customers to talk to us about how they see the product being better. What are some of the things that we could do differently or add to it or improve it? Okay. And, and this is an important part, there is no expectation of clarity. And they're going to tell you what they think, gut feeling, top of their head thought, whatever it is, is going to come out. Bang. I think it should be better if it was green. Right. Okay. Please don't just write, it'll be better if it was green. Or add an a backlog item, turn page green. Okay. And you might need to do that, but don't do it just yet. What we need to do is seek some clarity. Well, what type of green? What do you mean? Why is it better like that? Okay. This whole meeting is about feedback. It's about improvement. It's about understanding where to take the product next. So don't take things just at surface value. Anything that's offered up is a worthy candidate. So acknowledge it. Thank people for it. Absolutely. But don't just accept it. Okay? Take some time. That's a really interesting idea. What makes you think that that type of green is right? If we're talking about that, or we're talking about a different type of green. Okay, what's the behaviors you're looking for? What are we expecting to happen? Okay, really start digging into it and understanding. Okay. It's a very, very simple thing to do. But a lot of what we do in Scrum outside of the work is deliberately simple. It seeks to simplify your life. We have people the stakeholders, the customers who are invested in our product. They've turned up, they've seen something, they like it, I hope. And, and they're offering you their experience, how they see things being better. Awesome. But please don't fall into the trap of thinking they're developers. Why would they know what you need to know? You know what you need to know. Ask those questions. Okay. Not about the solution, but about the problem space. What is it they're trying to do? Okay, why green? I don't know why I picked green. But let people explore that space. Invite conversations from different people. So just because a senior stakeholder has said, I want you to do this, what do other people tend to think of that? Okay, are there any other ideas in the same area? Are there any other ways of achieving the same goal? Okay, let them talk about it. Let them discuss it and explore that space together. These people have come to a meeting. Okay? They care enough to have turned up. They want to help you. So invite them in. Very often when I do sit into meetings that don't have an active Scrum Master, developers want to take a step back. Whenever there's a conversation, they don't want to be at the forefront, and I understand them. As a massive introvert, I can really get you. Okay? But what you need to do is get enough useful information from them to be able to determine as a team, particularly a product owner, but as a team, is this idea great or is it just another good one, but not good enough? They're in the room now. Talk to them. Ask them questions. Okay. And there isn't much else to do here. Okay. Make a note, acknowledge it, say thank you. We've put it on the backlog or we've written it on a Post it or whatever works for you. Okay, make it clear we've captured it, we've asked you questions, and we appreciate you answering them, and we've got it. And explain what's going to happen next. What we're going to do is we're going to put them on the product backlog, and the product owner is going to go through them. And step one is determine whether they stay there or not. Be honest about that. Not everything is good enough to get done, and it doesn't matter who said it. Hey, if it's a bad idea, it's a bad idea. It doesn't matter if the person who said it's highly paid. It's still a bad idea. Okay? So be honest with people. Be open and say, look, we're going to add it to the list. But the product owner is going to make the decision. Does it stay or not? And if it doesn't, we'll let you know. And if it does, we'll come and talk to you when we need to know more about when it's going to get done. Okay? 
make no promises. This is one thing that I've seen a few times over the years where developers say, oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, we'll take it into the next sprint. What happens if it's not important enough? What happens if it's not the right thing to go in the next sprint? You just told people in a meeting that that's what you're going to do. You bound your hands to some extent. So, yeah, we'll take it. We'll put it in the backlog and we'll consider it. And then once you're out of the meeting, take that consideration. That may well be sprint planner, and that's absolutely fine. But take that time to consider it. We've added it. Is it a good enough thing to consider that for the next sprint? Do we understand it well enough to take it into the next sprint, being an important one as well? And if it is important enough, well, we know who raised it. Because, of course, when we made a note, we made a note who raised it. It was their idea or the people, if it was more than one, and go and talk to them. Okay. Please don't shy away from gathering feedback, from asking questions of stakeholders. If they've taken the time out of their day to come and talk to you as a team about how to improve your product, they are going to thank you for talking to them, engaging in them, inviting them into a conversation about how to make the product that is likely making their lives a bit better, better. 